Hello? When you have the time, Mei Song, or Mei Soong, I would suggest that you read two of my favorite books, Insurgent and Tae Fun. I believe you'll find both of them as illuminating as I have. They're in my office if you'd like to borrow them. Hmm. <laughs> Why would somebody have lab flasks in their bathroom? Creepy. Mr. Hundley, it has become necessary to change my system password, since it may have become compromised. I will encrypt the new password and forward it to you shortly. Please note that any access attempts made using Taefun should be tagged and traced for interrogation. Hmm. Forward it to you shortly, so Mr. Hundley has the new password. Insurgent by X. This is one of the books that she was supposed to read. I'm guessing this is the other one. Oh my god. I'm gonna turn off my light. Yes, it is. Okay. Taefun. So I'm guessing her old username was Taefun, maybe, and then the password was Insurgent? Or... Hmm. The history of the triads is in many ways the history of modern China. Popular myth holds that the triads originated as a resistance movement against the Qing Dynasty after it descended from... Manchuria to seize the capital of Peking by force. When faced with a rebellion in the Fukien province, the Qing dynasty recruited an order of warrior monks who were later deemed expendable by the emperor and all but exterminated. Survivors organized a number of secret monasteries and became known as the Hung Mun, dedicated to overthrowing the Qings. The Hung Mun showed a remarkable political adaptability, portraying themselves as protectors of the people, even as they accepted money from Japanese corporate fronts during World War II. When faced with the subversion of an organized ruling body, external action, even when executed in concert as a group, is often ineffectual. True revolution can only come from working within, and in this, the ultimate change that can be brought about by an individual is magnified by the very machinery that such organizations utilize to maintain their own authority. Historically, ruling bodies are always outnumbered by those they rule, but still they manage to maintain a disproportionate amount of power through a combination of tradition, confusion, and punishment. An operative who learns to s simulate the veneer of a loyalist and guard their own secret heart can utilize those very same tools to overthrow such organizations, or shift them to a more ideologically pleasing axis. Yes. True. Very true. <laughs> I... Some of the level design is just bizarre. Look at this. There's a security terminal just, like, embedded inside of this wooden desk, and it's not even flush with it. It's not even oriented correctly. Like, what? Just... bizarre. Hello, Maggie. I swear I'll never forget your birthday again. July 18th is marked on my calendar forever. Lewis. That's gotta be a hint as to the password, right? To something? But she said she's sending it to Hundley and encrypting it. Given how careful she is, I doubt she'd simply set it to a, a birthday. I don't know. Whatever. I have such a good hacking skill, it might not even matter that much. Alright, so did Maggie just, like, disappear? The true way. 
If one is to imagine the perfect sword that can cut and swing with no resistance, a sword that is an extension of the mind and heart of the warrior who wields it, and not a dead weight of steel, then it becomes clear that the sword is of little consequence compared to the will of the strategist. Those who would master the way must come to understand this. A sword is a tool whose purpose is to cut. Each day the strategist must practice this until it is not practice, but a part of their spirit. The strategist knows that every sword they wield is perfect, for their will is perfect, and it is through their will alone that they win battles. Maggie? Yeah, she's not here anymore. Interesting. <laughs> um... Remember the briefing. I swear I did not throw a cushion and have it bounce off the rail and hit her in the head on purpose. Wow. I, I did not expect that. Okay, well, I think I've seen enough. Yeah, I guess when you steal the sword, she disappears. Maybe they don't want you to kill her. That might be it. Whoa, what the... What the fuck? Hey, what? I don't, I don't get it. Why does she suddenly want to kill me? Yeah, she's red to... What? She didn't even see me go upstairs, right? So, why does she want to kill me? Alright then. Challenge accepted. Oh wait, she's got a medkit on her too. Hold on, let me drop this. And what about the seventh floor that the guy talked about being in, being renovated? This is the lobby? Yeah, this is the lobby. Ooh, does this one maybe go to the seventh floor? I mean, you can't just mention, like, a secret floor and not have me absolutely want to get into it. I need to get into it. Yes. Mm-hmm, here we go. Now, of course, why there'd be a separate... Why there'd be a separate elevator for uh, apparently just one floor doesn't make any freaking sense, but it's okay. It makes sense from a gameplay perspective, I suppose. Damn it. 
There we go. <laughs> There's someone right there, but they're completely in the dark. No, they're not even an enemy. Ah, oh, it's been bypassed. So, wait a minute, what is she doing up here? How did she get up here? Mort, I'm going to be off-site tomorrow, so I'm counting on you to head things up. Just FYI, the electrician completed installation of the security system today. Log in Queen's Tower and password security. In case you get, in case you get around to handling the configuration issues. I don't think the doorman's quite figured out how to use it yet, so you might need to do some hand-holding with him. I also set the elevator bypass code inside the shaft to 1709 before I left, if you need to do any work down there. Should the contractors return to work on floor 7, give them code 3444. Any other problems come up. You know how to get a hold of me. Lynn. You have 20 credits, mister. What for? I will be honest. It is crash. A big crash. Uh, I just need a little for the pain. Hmm. I don't really want to support her drug addiction. A forgotten virtue like honesty is worth at least 20 credits. She was honest. But at the same time, she should probably give it up. At the same time, if she's experiencing a big crash, maybe she'll die? I'm not going to give her money for drugs, Jesus. Hey, you're this far into withdrawal. Maybe it's time you kick the habit. How can you? Why so cruel? It's for your own good. You awful man. I hope you die very soon. Well, you don't have to worry about that. I am going to die soon, but then I'm going to reload. Unfortunately, you don't have that ability. Sorry. No, go away. Is this where she sleeps? Soy food in a pillow? Okay, I won't steal her food. It's a bit of a dick move. What do you mean, denied? No one denies JC Denton. All right, well, I think I'm done here. Hey, buddy, don't mind me. To Queen's Tower. I was just going to the bathroom. Oh, you mean there isn't a bathroom in the lobby? Uh, I, I was... Uh, bye. Alright, so I need to go to the Lucky Money Club. Take it to some douchebag named something. advisable for tourists to visit the canals at night. I just remembered. Wasn't there at least one Deus Ex game? Uh, a newer one that allows you to visit the same area? Like, this looks super familiar. Was it Human Revolution? I feel like it was Human Revolution. Hmm. What are you doing in the trash cans? I was walking here. Okay. Get out of my way. <laughs> that acting. That acting. Just about head enough. Always one eye on my pocket. <laughs> you worse alive think you own everything. 
I don't work for Versa Life. What the hell are you talking about? Careful, buddy. Trying to chop up some rats here. I think I stepped on that one. Oh, God. Ew. That's kind of nasty. Sick of experiments. Right, I think I know where that way goes. That's not where I want to go. Where do I need to go? This way? I don't know. I'm going to go this way. Oh, yeah, perfect. <clears throat> Sudden change of music. Groovy. Wow, he's really dedicated to his job, isn't he? Does not give a crap. Huh? Here you go. Here's an award for not giving a crap. Congratulations. <laughs> the mall area is perfectly safe. If you want a good time, I recommend the Rocky Money. I'm guessing breaking this glass would probably set off the alarm. Two picks. I'm meeting someone. Hey man, where are you from? The States. We're from Australia. Hmm, on vacation? Let's just wait for Russ. He's kinda cute. What's your name? JC. Is this a good club? Oh, totally. And it's a red arrow place. They get everything real cheap. Look, can we ask a big, big favor? Sure. My friend and I. <laughs> it's so silly. We left our credit cards at the hotel. Think you could get us in? How much do you need? Only 20 each. We get in for 20. The way JC Denton said, sure. <laughs> it was just brilliant. I mean, I, I don't even really spend my money. Sure, whatever. Sure. What? You like to dance then? <laughs> Let's go. You're so bad. Okay, serious question. She said they're both from Australia, right? Okay, Tessa. Is that supposed to be an Australian accent? Because if it is, that is not even remotely an Australian accent. Thanks for getting me in. That, that is, that's not even close to Australian. Thanks for getting me in. Let's go. She maybe kinda sounds Australian, but this. Thanks for getting me in. Is not an Australian accent. Hmm, leather boots for you. Twenty-five credits admission. <laughs> she likes my boots. Oh yeah, I guess I was about to walk in without even being admitted, right? All right, I better pay. Here you go. Perfect. I order you to stand in the spotlight and growl at the women like a dog who needs a master. The fuck? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pretty. Where's the light actually coming from? I don't even see the source of the light. Hello. Escorts. Yay. Thanks for getting me in. Y yes, you've said that like ten times. So these are probably the slaves, or oh, is that Cassandra? Hello. Well, she looks the same as Cassandra. I like to dance. Nope, that's May May. Welcome to Lucky Money. Hello. 100 credits. A pleasing companion. Mm, no thanks. No thanks. I'll be waiting. Come back when you change your mind. Hello. 
Alright, let's see. For getting me in. Y yes, you you said that. Thanks for getting me. That was so cool, man. Thank you so much. Do you know Max Chen? He runs this place. No problem. We go way back. Wanna dance? Mmm, bet you've got some moves I haven't seen before. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Let me loosen up a bit. Mind if I borrow ten credits to get a drink? If by borrow you mean take and never get back, in other words, just take, then sure, whatever. Anything you want. You're so cool, JC. I'm so glad I met you. I feel like she's on drugs. She seems like she's on drugs. Also, I really want to say, I really want to see Thanks JC. Getting me in. <clears throat> I really want to see JC dance. I want to see if he actually does have moves, because frankly, he seems like he's. Thanks for getting me in. Dear God, it seems like he has metal bars shoved in like all of his hands and feet. Like he's just, he's very stiff and rigid. I can't imagine him dancing. Thanks for getting me in. Ah. <sighs> I feel silly. You look good. Move your hips a little more. There you go. Like this? That's better. I don't think her animation changed at all. <laughs> that little spin. Oh. Please. I want to dance with my friend. Sorry. Want to get something to eat after this? Maybe some tea. But I want to go home. Take a bath. Where do you live? Not too far. I'm not your type. I just want to ask a few questions. Look, I was here first. Chen told me himself. If there's a job, I get it. What kind of job? Just back off. I got fired at the quick stop next door without even a warning, and I need a cash. Tough luck. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get him back and unlock into their computer. It's management password code three two four. One of Lake's nights, I gonna stick it there and trash all their records. What's a quick stop cashier doing working for the Red Arrow? And working it. I like your tattoo. Really? The claws of a dragon. Touching your breast. I just thought it would be sexy. I, I kinda wanna just stay here and keep listening to this. This is getting interesting. Or I can go over here and hear this again. Thanks for getting me in. Yeah, I think I prefer I like this. your tattoo. Really? Okay, it's gonna the go in a circle. Of a dragon. Hi. Touching your breast. They're, they're, they're clones. Uh. Uh. This is kind of creepy. Don't you like to dance? Get in the middle. Come on. You would look good with bangs. Thank you. I think I would too. Aren't you hot in that coat? I'm always hot. But, no, seriously, I'm like about to have heat stroke. Does this count as a dance? There we go, I danced. Oh, damn, I thought I the club kept going. Sorry. It's a you mirror. Good. Move your hips a little more. There you go. This is my best move. Call the backwards crouch. Yeah, I thought the club just continued on. I didn't realize it's a, a mirror that's so perfect it literally looks like... Well, it doesn't even look like a mirror. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, let's go into the women's restroom. Hi. Gangsters! They're all gangsters! What? They were cutting him and laughing and stabbing their swords. Jesus, where? When? Poor Chinko. I've never seen so many troopers. They must be close to a breakthrough. But which division? 
Maybe all of them. Something fundamental. I saw guards in biotech, too. I think it's just the UC. They've had that for weeks. But word has gotten out. Every engineer on the planet. Versalife already has the best security in the industry. Even my game programmer friend in Texas offered me a million credits for one hour on the UC. Wanted to make the game of life with buckyballs. Joking, of course. Wait, what's the UC? Mind if I ask what you were talking about? You with the company? It just sounded interesting. Troops. At a corporation? Not your affair. Please do not intrude. We do not wish to be disturbed. We're having a private discussion. Fine, fine. Stay in the dance area. I don't like being in the dark. What do you mean? Everything's so compartmentalized. A pain, I know. But all it takes is one leak to the net and there goes our work into the public domain. It's more like the way you'd organize a prison camp than a laboratory. Let's not get melodramatic. I've spent months making this rotor for sorting calcium ions, and I don't even know what it's for. Kaczynski was right about the division of labor. I'll give him that much. Want another drink? Who puts the pieces together? Someone who makes a lot more money than we do. Right. So it sounds like most of the employees at Versalife are just making things and they don't even know what they're being used for. And someone's probably turning them into rather... or using them for probably nefarious purposes. Oh, sure. I don't mind needles. What the hell? You okay, buddy? Too shmooma. Experiment? <laughs> I like experiments. Okay. Damn, you look cool. Beer is 15. Wine is 120. I'm afraid to say you don't sound cool, but you look cool. Can I ask you something? What do you want to know? Despite all I've read about the triads, I wasn't prepared to see them operating in the open, on the streets, and wearing uniforms. Doesn't the Chinese government care? The Chinese leave Hong Kong alone. They barricade the roads to control trade to the mainland, but they now have businesses then. I would think the secret smuggling operations of the triads would disturb the Chinese government. Maybe the luminous path. But China knows that the red arrow of business owners, entrepreneurs, community leaders, and that they protect the city from outside influences. You said outside influences. What does China fear? China is the last sovereign country in the world. Authoritarian but willing, unlike the UN governed countries, to give its people the freedom to do what they want. As long as they don't break the law. Listen to me. This is real freedom. Freedom to own property, make a profit, make your life. The West, so afraid of strong government, now has no government, only financial power. Our governments have limited power by design. Rhetoric? You believe it? Don't you know where these slogans come from? I give up. Well-paid researchers. How do you say it? Think tanks? Funded by big businesses. What is there? A think tank? Hardly as sinister as a dictator, like China's premier. With privately funded propaganda. The Trilateral Commission in the United States, for instance. Getting political here. The separation of powers acknowledges the petty ambitions of individuals. That's its strength. A system organized around the weakest qualities of individuals will produce the same qualities in its leaders. Perhaps certain qualities are an inseparable part of human nature. The mark of the educated man is the suppression of these qualities in favor of better ones. The same is true of civilization. I'm looking for Max Chen. Is that sad? What does it be? Just curious, I guess. I don't think that'll fly. Well, Maggie Chow didn't actually send me. I wish you could say the Tracer Tong sent me. Since, well, he did. I guess this is the closest one. I need to find Tracer Tong. Are you crazy? Don't even say that name in here. I'll get a drink later. Some interesting conversation. Have another drink? Don't mind if I do. As you were saying? Well, women back home, they aren't like your daughter. I do very much wish to meet her. You are very handsome. You must have many girlfriends in your country. Oh, come on. Nah. <laughs> it's weird, the names that these people have. You see, 
my class, where in the U.S., either you have nothing or you have everything. And the women of my class, well, they're spoiled. Mm. Whereas your daughter, see, she's the perfect example. Born not with a silver spoon in her mouth, but... Wooden chopsticks. Yes, good, that's very good. Exactly. And that's why she understands the important things. Food, shelter, a good life. That's a very nice watch. Thank you. So kind of you. A gift from my mother, actually. Yeah, some of the names are amazing. Like, his name was Loser. And her name was Barfly. Gold, actually. Not my style at all. And then after he talked for some reason, his name changed to Lawrence, but she's still called Barfly. It's really strange the names some people have, and the way they magically change. My friend and I were about to leave. Have I had these drugs the whole time? Hmm. I'm just gonna get a little bit drunk here. And get some more drunk. And get some more drunk. And get some more drunk. And smoke some cigarettes. Excuse me, Lawrence. Okay. I'm good. Actually, hold on. I need more cigarettes. <coughs> there we go. Hmm. Where's that go? Alright, so that way I'm not supposed to go. Where that guard is. Which obviously means I want to go there. Aside from that, the only areas I can go are back there. And over there. Let's see behind the bar. Oh shit, there's a camera. Actually, it might not even care that I'm here. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Oh god, it would take four lockpicks to get in there. Jesus. Do I have enough skills, uh, enough points to upgrade my lockpick skill? Nope, I need 3,600. That's gonna take a while. <clears throat> yep. Oh, shit. I don't know if I'd like it if they... or if they'd like it if I interrupted their meeting. Next place, upstairs. <laughs> Shake it! <laughs> yeah! The way the NPCs talk is just so awkward. Move it! The, these... Hey, Yevgeny! Yevgeny, where is Yevgeny? Let's party! <laughs> all of these Russian sailors have the exact same model. They all look exactly the same. I spill my drink! More! More! Out of my face! Downstairs! The upstairs is for us! Well, she's again. having fun, Do apparently. Again. I'm just playing some pool here. There's only one pool ball, man! See if I can get it in. Uh, almost. Hold on. Take him to the mama side. There we go. Got it in. That is creepy. Come on. We drink this same.
Okay, so I see two options here. Wait, did I go into the men's bathroom? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Two options. Get back there somehow where the guard is. Back here. I think management is involved in something criminal. I don't know if you should be saying that. Really? Why the codes? All the procedures? Why'd the data entry people disappear today? What did the company have them doing? That's outside your department. I want to know. What do they do all day and all night down on level two? I don't think I can take part in this conversation. I can't wait to get into Versa life. Sounds like they're hiding a lot of really cool stuff. Okay, somehow get behind there. Wait a minute. That might be the meeting room. Maybe? No, no, there's no way. Alright, let's see what happens when I go down here. Hi! Excuse me, sir. This room is off-limits to club patrons. I suggest you leave. It's okay. I'm here to see Max Chen. He'll expect me. An American. I hope he likes what you have to say. Isaac is letting anybody back here these days. Ooh. That has got to be him. Sitting in his throne. <laughs> There's another security computer terminal which is extremely aw awkwardly placed. Stubborn. Look at that thing. Hold on. Not only is it just embedded in the table, awkwardly. It's not even flat. Like, level with it. Look at that. <laughs> then I gave him the old Wait rat treatment. Never fails. Think they'd mind if I hack this? Turn that off. Oh, is that the lady at the front? <laughs> I just opened her door. The canal road is too dangerous now. Dogs. They really don't care that I just hacked this in front of them. Alright. Beautiful. Not too convinced <sighs> about the placement of the plants, though. Little bit weird. But nonetheless, beautiful office. You must be Max Chen. So? I have found something in Miss Chow's apartment that might interest you. Is that so? The sword was never destroyed. It was stolen, and she is the one who stole it. Preposterous! I have it right here. But, Miss Chow? She works for a group called Majestic 12. She's using you and the Red Arrow for her own ends. No, you must be mistaken. Think about it. She murders your predecessor, hides the sword, pushes the Red Arrow into the war with the Luminous Path, and then, what next? The triads are weakened and an outside group seizes power. Sound far-fetched? Oh, there must be an explanation. Perhaps you should meet with the leaders of the Luminous Path. Hmm, perhaps. For now, take them this message. I will stop hostilities until I have completed an investigation. Boss, what is it? Maria the doors over here trouble. Soldiers coming in. She said I was some kind of mechs. MJ-12 troops. They must have followed me. Uh oh uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck was that? Did, did somebody throw an explosive? I'm bleeding. Right. Oh. Ooh. H how did... How did it even get in here? How did it get past all of them? I don't get it. But anyway, I've got this thing now, which is sweet. Well, I'm gonna let them take care of that. The alarm goes off and they start sitting down again. What?
Ballistic armor is the other thing it had. Sweet, lots of good loot. And some credits. Feel bad for the dancers, I hope they didn't die. Oh no! At least the bartender's alive. Oh God, it's happening again! Wait, what? Oh, what? Uh. They just keep killing and killing and killing. They just keep killing, and killing, and killing! Oh my god. What? Don't hurt me. I'm a government official. <laughs> Everybody get on the floor or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, this game. I I'm innocent. <laughs> I'm innocent. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I totally said not to come here. Uh, <laughs> Don't hurt me. I'm a government official. <laughs> the AI and the voice acting could use just a little bit of work. It's not quite convincing. It's it's almost there. Almost there. But not quite. If they catch me here, I'm finished. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Okay, I'm leaving. Wait, is there anyone in here? No, okay. You know, I did say that I thought Mercedes was on drugs, and now I'm more convinced of that than ever. Oh no, she died! The businesswoman! The only thing she has on her is wine. Uh, what? Why are you gyrating, sir? Who are you? Please excuse the casualties. It's okay, this is a pretty normal day for me. Right, um... So, what do I do now? Tell Gordon Quick about how the, how the Red Arrow responded to the news about Mackie Chow. Okay, so go back to talk to the doorman. I can do that. The science. Hi, ho, sir. I see you in a corner, smoldering, hostile. Everyone will wonder who you are. Am I misreading this, or does she? She seem to be really into me. I, I can't quite tell. I think she finds me mysterious. Thanks for getting me in. Oh my god, Tessa. Thanks for getting me in. <sighs> Wait, was this always open? Wait, is he hostile? What the fuck? Wait, why are they hostile? Is it because I walked in there? Did they... <laughs> Did that turn me hostile? Say your business and go. Well, anyway. Let's go. These troops, they are not human. I'm just gonna go right away. Oh shit. I'll let someone else deal with that. Oh god. It's a military unit. Oh god. Somebody somebody stop it! Somebody fucking stop it! It's shooting rockets! Oh god, that doesn't look good. Okay. JC Den, protector of the people and also abandoner of the people, because I just left them all to die.
Okay, it must have been because I walked in there that they turned. Attack. Clear them all. That must have been what turned them evil. Or uh, aggro them to me. So if you just walk in there, they just magically oh, know. Sure. I know my needles. Run for cover! Here's an award for the good job you're doing protecting everything. By the way, while you've been standing here drinking soda, all the civilians in there have been dying to a rocket launcher wielding mech. Bye! Oh my god! Not you again. Where's Russ? Is he okay? If Russ was in the club, then no, he's probably been blown up. Please, look up such a quaint little market. You were right. Maggie Chow is a con artist. You have proof. Yes, I found the sword in her apartment. Good. Inform the Red Arrow Dragonhead. Then we will see who is the real traitor. I've already been to the Lucky Money. Max Chen has declared a truce between the Red Arrow and the Luminous Path. A truce? Are you certain? Majestic 12 attacked the club. I think he would consider forming an alliance. Mr. Denton, you are the man I hoped you were. Tracer Tong is inside, in his laboratory below the compound. The door is in our sparring room. He will know what to do next. To enter our compound, use the code 1997. I'm a little bit intimidated by the man with a massive sword. <laughs> While you are here, observe the laws of the triad. Of course. I will show nothing but respect for your place here. You must have won great favor with the dragon head. Tracer Ton admitted another American. Perhaps you know him. Well, of course, because all Americans know all Americans. Racist. I'm just kidding, who's my brother? I'm glad you go. Hmm. Well, I know from experience that they shouldn't mind if I hack their stuff. So why not? Okay. Absolutely nothing. Now, of course, they're friendly to me, so I'm not sure why I'm doing this, but... Eh, why not? Do not interrupt us with questions. <laughs> if Tom decides he'll trust you, you'll be free to come and go as you please. Chinese silver loaves. Water, sugar, vegetable oil, plain flour, baking powder, and salt. Hmm. Wait a minute. It's obviously a bread, right? It's weird, it also doesn't mention about baking it or anything. It only talks about the prep. But yeah, if you're making them into bread, that doesn't seem like nearly enough salt. Six cups of plain flour and only half a teaspoon of salt? You'd want more like one and a half teaspoons of salt. What 
watch yourself in the market. We have lost influence there. Okay, where exactly do I go? I can go up there, or I can go down there. Very confusing place. Oh, that's gonna go nowhere. Down here it is. Loading screen? Hmm? No? No, no loading screen. Do not linger in the compound. We will check with the dragon head about whether... Mihama. Ooh. Yes, thank you. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Infinite. I need the password to be able to open that. Damn. I see you. Come here. Yama. Journal of Hung Kwan Gordon Quick. It is the steel in her heart, much like that of her father, that leads me to love her. How unfortunate that the old god should laugh, and she should be the child of their dragon head, the man who would lead the Red Arrow against the Luminous Path, and destroy all we have sought to create for the Celestial Kingdom. But I know that whatever fate has decreed for us, we will walk this road together. There can be no betrayal in the feelings we have for each other, and no teachings that can show me the error in our actions. Today, Master Tong has informed me that we will have visitors. I see you too. Lockpick. Come on, come on. Come on, there we go. You will be permitted to go about your business. Aha, okay, there we go. Yeah, so I cut out some of my running around. I went back and I looked at the dialogue. Right here. In his laboratory below the compound. The door is in our sparring room. You will know what to do next. Enter a compound. Use the code 1997. Okay, so there's some strangeness there. Two, two strange things. One, there's no indication that this is the sparring room. Absolutely none. Nothing suggests people fight here. In fact, it just looks like a place where people eat and sleep. So that's a bit strange. Secondly, he says the code to enter our compound is 1997. He doesn't say that the code to also enter the laboratory is also 1997. But there you go. I don't like cages, man. They remind me of the man trying to keep me down, man. Keep me in, keep me locked up like a bird. Hey, Tracer. Oh, you're not Tracer. Here's guard. You must be JC. Tong will see you now. You must be Tracer. Mr. Tong, you knew my brother Paul Denton. Yes, a reliable man. So your kill switch has been activated. I feel fine, but it's been over 16 hours. See how easily our technologies turn on us? The more power you think you have, the more quickly it slips from your hands. Can you do something about it? That will depend. You, like your brother, are an extraordinary piece of technology. I never pass up the chance to try a new blade. But I fear at the crucial moment, I may lift up my arm to strike, and you will twist free of my grasp. In other words, I'll owe you a favor. Indeed, as will your friend Mr. Jacobson, a man of much useful knowledge. 
He arrived in Hong Kong shortly after you did. I was forced to keep him in custody until I could verify his identity and his loyalties. I assume he checked out. I believe he is sincere. Now, go down the stairs to the operating platform and I will examine your systems. Well, he's apparently very excited because he just ran there. That's cool. Human eye augmentation. Look at that. Undoubtedly, this was unreadable before the new texture pack, but now it is. By bleaching selected rod photoreceptors and saturating them with something, some oh god, bleaching rod photoreceptors. That sounds disturbing. I'm just imagining somebody pouring bleach into my eyes. But it probably doesn't work like that. Jox Tanachi Road apartment key added to... Huh. Why would he have the key to Jox apartment? Project Dybbuk. Thoughts and meditations. As the most dignified of the Celestial Kingdom had expected, inquiries into the nature of MJ-12 and the so-called Project Dybbuk were quickly declined in an extremely abrupt manner and resulted in the unfortunate but necessary loss of one humble servant who will be forever exalted in the annals of our organization. However, further perseverance has suggested that the aforementioned project involved the quiet acquisition of Chinese technology that was later applied to the invention of the improved stealth helicopter for use in covert MJ-12 operations. A careful examination of electronic traces would lead an astute observer to conclude that this information was liberated during a number of skilled intrusions into Chinese corporate data wells originating from UNACO headquarters in New York, which in turn leads to certain questions about links between UNACO and MJ-12. MJ-12 Nano Augmentation Experiments Series 3C For internal use only. Recent human trials and subsequent mortality studies have demonstrated that nano-augmenting of baseline human psychology, or sorry, physiology, is not without hazards. Notably, key anatomical regions can support only limited augmentation without risking rejection or accelerated degeneration. Research is ongoing, but current data suggests the following nano-augmentation combinations have acceptable risk. Okay. There we go. Alex Jacobson, welcome to the fold. Oh, it's from Alex. Okay, I've got your account all set up. Uh-huh. Okay, don't have time to read the whole thing. Dataless. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I don't have time to read that. Damn it, I want to read this stuff. Ugh, I can't. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I'll check that stuff out later. Please, complete your business and then go. Oh, he wants me in that thing, doesn't he? <laughs> I gotta say, it's a little bit intimidating to stand in a gigantic room in the middle of a glowing, what looks like a glowing hot plate, surrounded by an incredibly spiky looking thing that looks like it wants to stab me. Okay, how do I get in? There we go, been waiting for that. It looks like a poison head crab. Ugh. Stay right there. Ow. Three seconds. Two, one. Boom. Healed. Uh, 
That's it? A simple switch, as they call it. Have you heard about Paul? Your friend informed me. A courageous man, your brother. I plan to make sure he didn't die for nothing. We will try. Unfortunately, nothing is certain in politics. Quick and Chen declared a truce just a few minutes ago. A good bit of diplomacy, I admit. But it won't hold. Not with the sword left to be fought over. I think they'll be slow to anger with Maggie Chow out of the picture. No. In their system, the sword is a doomsday weapon, a temptation. We must recover the ramen coating from VersaLife and make it available to both triads. So that's all you expect in the way of a favor? A little corporate espionage? The first of many favors. Remember, I saved your life. Now pay attention. The VersaLife elevator north of the market will require an employee number. Try 06288. Once inside, Find Mr. Hundley, the shift supervisor. He can be persuaded to give you access to the labs. Hundley? You will find him receptive. He is the corrupt official who sold the Red Arrow the technology to begin with. I'll find the ramen coating, but I'm not your henchman. I'll help you as long as we have a mutual interest. If you choose to fight Majestic 12, you will need an ally. We will have a mutual interest for some time. In fact, I took the liberty of setting up a computer account for you. Login JC Denton. Password Sanctuary. Feel free to use the machine in my office. Thank you very much. Got it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I was hacking my own... Apparently I was hacking my own email. Well, I've got your account all set up and you should be ready to go. Everything communicate... Everything communications on Tracer's computers are completely ghost encrypted. So even if they go out over the standard HK net, there's no way anyone can intercept or read the messages. I've been talking a lot to Tracer and he's really an amazing person. I think I can learn a lot from him. I know you might find this odd, but all the time I worked for Inako seems like a dream killing time in some virtual world so I didn't have to make the hard choices in the real one. Now I feel like I've finally woken up. Alex. Alright, so this one's from Daedalus again. There's little time. You should know that the organization for which you have worked, whose goals and interests you believe to be your own, is not what it seems. Unatco is merely an arm of a larger entity known as Majestic 12. Majestic 12 seeks to use force and intimidation to seize absolute control of everything. They will not hesitate to use all means necessary to achieve this goal and have engineered the disease you refer to as the Grey Death in an effort to accomplish this. They must not be allowed to succeed. Your brother has been an aid to me in this matter, but cannot help me any longer. You must take his place. The Grey Death is a nanotechnolo nanotechnologically engineered virus. You are immune, but others are not. You must locate the universal constructor used to create the Grey Death and destroy it. My information indicates that it is in Hong Kong, housed in a Majestic 12 facility beneath the corporation known as VersaLife. You must not fail. Holy shit, they're actually constructing the Grey Death in VersaLife. That is sick. Sam Carter. They'd fire me on the spot if they knew I was sending you this message. But I've got a feeling they'll be drumming me out any day now as it is. Alex tells me there's no way this communication can be traced, so I trust he knows what the hell he's doing. I understand why you did it. Being a soldier isn't just following orders, it's following those orders in the service of a higher cause. When that cause is betrayed, we're not soldiers anymore, just pieces on a chessboard dying for the wrong reasons. Things have been bad since you left. Manderley has disappeared. They say he's been relieved of duty. The director of FEMA, Walton Simons, has assumed interim authority, but there's something about him I don't like. He seems reasonable, but there's something behind his eyes. I saw the same look on men in combat when all the part of them that was human just left. I have some friends who used to be associated with Unatco. They've disappeared, but I may see if I can find them again. Maybe they'll be useful to you. We'll see. In the meanwhile, 
Do what you think is right, JC. And let the devil take the rest. It's good to have friends. Very good. Alright, so Versa Life is my next goal. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take a look around. <laughs> Why is there a human skull in here? A little bit creepy, people. Oh, Alex! Alex! You took a big risk following me here. Thanks. When you believe in something, you've just gotta do it. How'd you find Tong so quickly? Turns out I knew him all along. TT undernet.0924.243.886. I posted a message to the board and he contacted me himself. Any news from Jaime? No sign of him yet. I hope he made it. Yeah, me too. Did you ever dig up anything about this Daedalus character? I'm still hearing from him. Actually, I did, sort of. Crypto says Daedalus was supposedly a government AI project, also known as Echelon 4. Supposedly? I'm getting this from anonymous crypto boards. Daedalus was supposed to beat the old content recognition problem in surveillance. It was a program that could search all the terabytes of intercepted messages for subversive content. So, what happened? Never panned out as far as I know. The problem was just too hard. They blew through a lot of taxpayer money, but finally had to scrap the whole project. So the thing that's talking in my head is, what, a uh, resurrected AI? I wish I knew. Hey, I wouldn't mind having an AI, AI on my side. Especially not a super powerful one. Tong is in the operating theater. Oh, I can't pick up the candy bar. Right, so I don't have any new augmentations. I've got some augmentation upgrade canisters, but I don't need uh, the medbot thing to do it. And I don't have any useful augmentations to actually upgrade. Increase the clip size. Let's dump something for a second. What do I not need? I almost want to say drugs, but for some reason I feel like I should keep this. Hmm. Damn it, I've got to drop something. Alright, I'll drop the drugs. <laughs> it's like random buttons are being pressed on it. What, what's even the point of this? Distractions that I'll almost never use. Ooh, rebreather. Yeah, let's grab some more of those. Go pay the bastards a visit. 
VersaLife, here we come. I don't even know where their elevator is, now that I think about it. I probably look that up. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I know where it is. While you are here, observe the laws of the triangle. Please, look around. Hmm, I didn't finish reading these, did I? Canal Road Tunnel Collapse. Oh, that's where I uh, found the, the dead scientist and his book. Yeah. Explosions rocked the Wan Chai District two days ago as fighting between warring triads resulted in the cave-in and flooding of the Canal Road Tunnel. Yeah. That's what that was. A number of bystanders were trapped during the fighting and subsequently presumed dead. Hm. Gray death cases misdiagnosed. Authorities confirmed today that a number of mysterious illnesses reported at area clinics were not cases of gray death, as had been previously feared, but merely a seasonal outbreak of influenza. Dr. Cheng Lam of the People's Health Administration headed the inquiry. I can say with complete certainty that these cases exhibit absolutely none of the symptoms of the so-called Grey Death. Cases which, I might add, have so far only been reported in the less well-managed cities of America and Europe. Those malcontents who have spread rumors to the contrary are merely feeding upon the unjustified fears of the hard-working men and women of Hong Kong. Dr. Lam went on to say that anyone observed making such claims should be reported to local party leaders for counseling. Uh-huh. Sounds more like they're trying to control the media and make sure that nobody freaks out about the Grey Death, but I'm sure it's here, just as it is anywhere else, right? I've been warned about you. I'm just looking. Ah, uh, poor Cassandra. Many fine restaurants. Yes, yes, good meat, good meat. I'm sure it's the greatest meat. Oh six two eight eight. That nope five is not a six. Beep. 